choosing a just right book. Have you ever checked out a book from the library only to get home and find out it just isn't right for you? Maybe the book is too easy. Maybe it's too difficult. Maybe it's kind of boring. Here are some tips for how to choose a book that's just right for you. First, go to the area of the library that your age group is allowed to browse in. If you are in kindergarten, first, or second grade, you usually need to go to the area with picture books and easy readers. If you are in third, fourth, or fifth grade, you should probably be browsing in the area with more challenging books. Often, the first time you see a book, you see its spine, with its title and author printed on it. If you see a title that looks interesting, pull the book from the shelf. Put the shelf marker into the space where the book you chose was sitting. This will help you put the book back in the right place if you decide not to check it out. Look at the book's cover. Does it have an interesting title? Maybe it has an interesting picture? When looking for a just right book, sometimes books whose covers have only words or pictures that don't look very exciting can actually be really good books. But if you only have a few minutes to browse in the library at school, you need to make the most of that time. So take a look at the cover. Is it about something that you might like to know or read more about? Still not sure? Sometimes, if you look at the back of the book or inside the front cover, there is a summary of the book to help you decide if it is a good choice for you. If the cover information does not seem appealing, maybe you should put it back on the shelf and find a book that is more inviting. If the cover does seem to have possibilities, go ahead and open to a random page. Start reading that page. Use the five finger rule to see if it is a just right book. Each time you encounter a word you do not know, hold up a finger. By the end of the page, count how many fingers you are holding up. If you are holding up zero fingers or one finger, the book is probably too easy for you. You should probably move on to a different book. If you are holding four or five fingers, the book is probably too challenging for you. You should probably try to find an easier book. If you are holding up two or three fingers, the book might be just right for you. You could definitely check this book out and give it a try. This is how you find the just right book for you. Happy reading!